It's a brand new vlog. Oh, it's Stephanie's dad. Logan Paul or KSI? No, why not? Answer. Logan Paul. 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 It's brand new vlog. <laughs> Yo, we're here at Candle Assembly where I'm going to chat to one of my only favourite artists from outside of Birmingham. He's a guy called Devon. We've been following each other on Twitter for about two years. And he is such a unique creative artist who's been picked up by a massive label in Universal. He's here and he's playing a crazy ramped out show. We're going to chat to the guys and find out all about the Forest of Dean and what FOD means, what was going down with dinosaurs in the forest. And the beautiful girl from Addy is here. I just want to say the interview's already happened, so when he says we're going to, he's like... You've just <laughs> hold the continuity. Come on, you can do the intro then. Okay, fine. You do it, you Come do on, it. Fine. Go on. Hi guys, it's Tim Seven Vlogs here, and today I'm going to be telling you all about brand new band playing at uh, Worry. Camden um, Assembly. Camden Assembly, well, they're really grassroots, you know, so... Um, you can just put them in the corner. I'll put them in the corner. <laughs> this, is good this is good practice for uh, oh, if, if Tor ever gets. Do you ever wonder like what's happened in your life leading up to this moment? Look at the podcast. <laughs> yes. Yeah, oh. I think he's had a bit of an accident. Oh, jeez. It's a pipe for shoes. The worrying thing is it looks quite realistic from below the waist. So yeah, it'd be a dead body. Okay. It's dead weight. <laughs> what, what was it for? Was it a prop? Yes, it was. Um, so they used to have it in the playroom as a crossbow. So they, they're just remodeling and stuff there now. So. Okay. Yeah. You, you can use it on stage then? So, yes. Devon, backstage at the Camden Assembly. This is one of the first times in literal years that I've actually come out of Birmingham for a show. It's because this guy is an absolute legend and a guy I'm really excited to see first time. Well, how are you doing, Devon? Really nice to meet you, finally. Yeah, me. I'm doing amazing. Visually, Devon is centred around you, but you've got two guys with you. And Is it a regular band you have? Yeah. The Amigos, the Carers? Yeah. Yeah, I'll play the drums. <laughs> Is he allowed? Is he allowed out and supervised sometimes? Does he get like time on weekends? I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm Adam's carer. I also play guitar. It's like a uh, careception. Yeah. So what's the scene like in the Forest of Dean? Does it exist? Is it because that's where Devon is from? In case you didn't know, it's the Forest of Dean. Yeah. I just think dinosaurs when I think of Forest of Dean. I don't know why. I think. I think there was a TV show called Primeval that was yeah. filmed was in the Forest of Dean. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And there was an anomaly that opened the, the, re opened the world to the uh, prehistoric times. And then it was just prehistoric creatures, not real ones. Yeah. They actually ripped a hole in the space time continuum just to film that show. It was very cool. Any story about that? I played my first ever gig when I was in primary school. And I used to love that guy with the trilby hat and the waistcoat. <laughs> so I wore a trilby hat and a waistcoat. Oh, Connor! Yeah! Oh my god, he was such an emo. He was like Fall Out Boy's lost member. That's amazing. You were that band with the trilbies and glasses of white wine. How do you bridge that? Because, you know, all, all the bands I know are from Birmingham. So you sort of start out and instantly there's probably about five or six bands who are at the next level and you can support them and gain traction so quickly. But for you, I guess you're probably just having to build up something unless the Wurzels would let you come along, as you were telling me about. The Wurzels, yeah. Well, yeah, just and use the internet and like yeah. you find your way of like getting through the fog on the internet. Yeah, man, like be annoying and like be that guy is like who's like really getting on. Yeah, and um, so well of that with I don't want to be your friend. Two hundred thousand Spotify streams, and that's fully sick. Is that something that you think was like I don't know, kind of like momentum pushing a boulder up a hill and then you know, you get to the top and it sort of just goes over and then a lot start coming in. Cause it's a great tune and Jack Saunders, Radio One, is a fan as well. Big up Jack. Yeah, I think that song is, for me is still a slow burner to be honest, cause I feel like we're just getting to the top of the hill and maybe like it's gonna edge over at some point. We may just continue pushing it up, but you know, if we gotta do that, we gotta do that, but yeah. yeah. The Devon songs that I'm used to, the old school ones, day, Daydreaming, Wardrobe Monsters. I think, I think Wardrobe Monsters came a little bit later. There's Plastic Statues and Daydreaming, which are the two. And the thing I really liked about your music, the first time I heard it, I think so many alternative artists, so many indie bands just have, you know, one note songs. But there's something kind of really like warped and contorted about all the songs you make. Like they don't just, they don't just stay on one note. They're kind of like flinging over in different corners and there's kind of, effects and it makes it more interesting so are you really conscious of that like wanting to make something a little more left field yeah 100 percent. i think um it's all about like 
for me, just writing, making sure that a good song is down on the acoustic guitar and then like bringing it to like production, just having fun with it. Because if it doesn't sound interesting and cool to me and it doesn't like sound completely different to what I've heard before, yeah. like bands I'm listening to, then you know it's not like a keeper for me. Like, I just kind of like, I just always want to like make something that's gonna, people are gonna go, oh, well, I really like that, but I don't know what it is. I was having a little check of your Instagram. I think you have a very close relationship with your dog. There's a real friendship there. <laughs> is that important for musicians to have that, you know, fallback? It can be quite a tough industry. And I saw that you, you were there without your top on, the dog holding it. It's clearly a, a heartwarming relationship. That's, that's real love. Yeah, she's 14 years old. She's, yeah, she's very... So has she been with you for like her whole life? Pretty much, pretty much yeah. We got her for a friend, she's like two. And yeah, and she's, she is, on, yeah, she's, she's honestly a trooper. Like, is she a fan of the music? She's, she's deaf. <laughs> She's deaf. She's like so deaf. Hopefully not as a result of your music. I know you're playing. I don't know. Merch that's like pet merch. Because I don't think I've ever seen a band do that. I think that'd be a great niche to go into. I think if Scruff builds the fan base, then she's certainly do some merch and I think a lot of people would probably buy it. A lot of indie bands are missing out on that market because if you started uh, you know, branching out your support base to animals, I reckon you've just like tripled the amount of people who might be into your music. People, life forms, yeah. Pack out the gigs, Crufts, Camden Stanley. Well, thanks so much for chatting, Devon. It's so sick to meet you, man, and we can't wait to see yeah. the set tonight. Thank you. Let it be known, Devon co signs white jeans. They are the no, best stop item it. of clothing. I hate it. It's like white clothes. Everyone, no. needs, everyone needs white oh, jeans in their no. life. So many levels Those are of fire. right now. Stop it, you. That's the white key. jeans and the chance the three hat. What more do you need, really? That's the, per the perfect combination. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Right. Euthan come to Euthanasia, please. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, just, just stroke it. Stroke it. Stroke my mouth.
My name's Devin, that's Adam, that's Josh, we're from the Fire Sedin. Thank you very much for coming down. Now what have I got to say? This is Pastic Statues. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> So So sick. So sick. No fucking wardrobe monsters. No. What are you gonna do to me? No, it was so fucking sick. Seriously. Daydreaming, realizing the potential. Oh shit. It's C. It's C. It's fine. Just trying to be a rock star when you get locked out of your own dressing room. <laughs> One day. What is the code? I didn't pay attention. I think I'm at 